some of you might remember this little guy this is a sedum spatulifolium cape blanco and i planted this here in a previous in a previous landscape arrangement but i i thought they were dead so i just put soil over them and planted new new plants on top of them it looks like this one has survived and has grown through the thick layer of uh, soil that I added on top so it's pretty cool that it managed to do that but yeah I'm afraid that this might not survive through summer so I'm going to transfer it into a separate pot and let it grow in in there for a while I wonder if I can still propagate it I'm pretty happy that it has survived it's a survivor that's odd it has a short stem so it looks like somehow it was just left on top of the soil I don't know as long as it survived, that's all I need to know. It is such a beautiful day today, and it would be a shame not to spend it in the garden. So let's get started. I feel like doing some repotting today. So some of these ones, like this Colibra and Black Prince, they could, they could use being transferred into a larger pot. Because they're starting to get bound. As for the rest, I'm going to move them into terracotta pots. Before I can get started though, I will need to prepare more of my soil mix. So that's, that's, my, that's going to be my first step. So as per usual, I pour one bag of potting, potting mix. Next step is to mix some pebbles. And mix them for a bit. So I do I do this just enough to break apart the 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 pebbles that I've poured into the mixture. And finally, some all-purpose fertilizer so I'm just going to get a scoop I think this should be enough enough for one batch I'm just going to spread it and mix the soil some more now that I'm done mixing I can get back to potting up my plants. So I just realized I only have one more of the 25 centimeter pots left. So of the two, I think only the Culebra will go into this one. So as you can see, it's quite a step up, but it's going to be summer. And it's about time the Culebra got upgraded to a larger pot anyway because man this this thing can grow quite large almost there and yeah I got it 
One handed putting, baby. Just so it won't be stressed too much, I'm going to leave it here at the edge. It's still under sun. Yeah, you're going to sit there for a while before I move it back to the open spot. Yeah. Up next is this Rosea Grandis. And it looks like some of the roots are trying to come out already. So we'll see. Yeah, this pot should be a bit bigger. Yeah. To save you the trouble, because I'm just going to do the same steps anyway. I'm just going to show you the finished product. So the Rosea Grandis was root bound in its previous pot. I'm going to break out break apart some of these roots and you know this soil because it's quite hard quite compact so before I move it into the new pot it has to be loose all right so I finally got it free and the roots are now loose it would be a lot easier to plant it in and yet at the same time uh, the drainage would be improved because of the lack of compacted soil. It's now in its new pot. Now I only have to do the same to these three echeverias. Next in line is this Fulgens. Next up is this water lily. Finally, this Echeveria elation. So all four of these would be staying near the eaves for the next few days until they get used to the spot. So I'm standing here behind my Agavoides pots and I've been spending the last few minutes picking up some leaves from the flower stalks so this might, you know, I might be able to grow some plants off of this so why not? This is an Agavoidus Martin. I wouldn't say this is too rare, but it is not commonly found either. Maybe I would call this uncommon.
but of course rarity depends on the location you're in so something that is common in one area might not be common in another area so take my comments about rarity with a grain of salt most of the time these plants just throw flower stalks with tiny leaves like this so what I usually do is to wait for it to produce flower stalks whose leaves look like this one they might look like pops right now but sometimes they turn into flowers but the leaves are fleshy and that's an important bit because otherwise if you get the, the little ones like this ones they tend to dry out faster like this so it's already falling off quickly you will have better success propagating from leaves that are fleshy like this ones I don't try to pull out all of these because this might turn out into a pot so at least it has a head start in its growth but sometimes I know for sure that these are not part of the pop like this one so this node here is pretty far from the rosette so I just pick those so here's another leaf that I missed so in this flower stalk there's this one here quite fleshy I'm going to pull that out here this is a good candidate for propagation this jade point used to be quite red back in winter but now that it is getting warmer it's reverting to, to a more greenish color so right now it's leaning towards orangish yellow so in time this will turn fully green maybe that's where the name came from jade point i'm going to start another propagation tray and i'm taking my agavoides so far i i pick i pick leaves from two types from my martin and what i think is a lemaire and I might have to go around and look for some at the others because they there's a lot that are flowering right now two types are in now i still have to look and see what else i can harvest today my pvn has put out more flower stalks and there's two here that i haven't harvested yet so i'll go ahead and do that a lot of leaves there's also the second pvn which has started putting out flower stalks and all of them have good leaves so i'm going to pluck this as well unfortunately this last one is still quite short and it's hard to get around it's hard to reach the lower leaves so maybe i'll just leave it for a while until it grows longer and it's easier to reach despite not being able to get to that last stalk I still have a lot of leaves so I've got three plants now I wonder if there are more that I can get there seems to be quite a few flower stalks on this sagita maybe I can use some of them uh, just from doing a spot check, these ones have some of those um, small and thin leaves which will quickly dry out. But looking down below, there are good ones here. So maybe I'll just pick some of these. Yeah, th those will do. I think it's safe to say that this is a pup. Because although it comes from a long stalk it has its own flower stalks yeah that, that that definitely looks like a pop so 
So I managed to get quite a few leaves from this sagita. Four types in this tray now. I want to pick up the leaves on the flower stalk on this Zorro, but it's still quite short and it's hard to get to the bottom ones. So maybe I'll give it a bit more time before I harvest this one. This Black Prince is trying to push out a couple of flower stalks. So there's two here, one and two. But they're still quite short. And I want to be able to pull out all of these leaves. So maybe I'll just leave them there for a while. Give them time to grow so I have better leverage. There's a small clump of Sedeveria myalan here. They have lots of flower stalks and lots of good sized leaves. So maybe I'll go with this one. I've gathered quite a few from the Mayalan. Five types now. Most of my elegants are already putting out flower stalks. And at a glance, I only see the, the small types, the thin type of flowers, or rather the leaves. But on closer inspection, there are these ones with bigger leaves so maybe if I give them a bit more time I would be able to harvest these types because there's a lot there's definitely a lot coming out soon I'm not sure if you remember this tray it's only been a few weeks since I prepared this but it looks like I've already got some sprouts I'm not sure if it's clear from the video so there's one here, another one here, I'm pretty sure I found others, and that one, these two next to each other, this one the far left, yeah there's, there's a, quite a lot of them that started sprouting, this one too. I wonder if there are others from the other trays that sprouted. I can't remember which batch this belongs to. There might be some here. Looks like... No, not yet. But the tips are going really red. That's telling me that uh, something's about to go out. Here. This other tray. It's the same plant, I believe. There's a few of them that are starting to sprout now. And here. The bronze. There's quite a few of them sprouting now. I'm not sure if my PVN, PVN has already sprouted. I see something from this Graptopetalum. This one. Another here. Another here. Yep, pretty, pretty quick, really impressed. See how much uh, the season, the proper season can do. It didn't take, take long at all for them to sprout.